Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and today we're going to be reacting to Season 3, Episodes 8 through 10 of Amphibia. So if I'm not mistaken, hiatus, because originally my files went to Season 3, Episode 9 um, for Season 3 when I originally downloaded them, I had to download the rest. Um, I believe that they cut off at 9, but like 10 was like, for lack of a better term, the more proper cutoff point. Um, because I believe, like, the, the, the first half of the season ended at episode 9, but episode 10 is supposedly a much better cutoff point for a video. So we're going to be doing episodes 8 to 10 of Amphibia Season 3. I'm really looking forward to it. The end is near. We only have a few more Amphibia videos to go, which is absolutely wild to think about, and I'm very excited to see where these final episodes take us. We are, either way, we are kind of, you know, going through the halfway mark. I wouldn't be surprised if this ends on a double-length episode, but I could see it either way, honestly. Um, I I know that, like, I don't know the specifics, but I know that, like, the last, like, couple episodes are, like, double-lengths, and it gets, like, crazy over there, but I don't know this, exactly how it goes. But whatever the case may be, I'm super excited. We are nearing the end of Amphibia. Uh, I'm expecting good stuff from both the Amphibia side and the Earth side. And uh, it should be really interesting to see what dynamics they play on and just generally where this episode goes. I'm really excited. I've been um, loving this show, really. I mean, I thought Season 2 was phenomenal. I've really enjoyed Season 3. I don't know if it's necessarily been as good as Season 2 so far, but it's been very strong. But both season two and season three have been awesome. And season one was fun too, of course. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what comes next. Because obviously we had the deals with the FBI stuff. We've had the stuff with Dr. Jan. We've had various things. And of course, last video we left off on um, the core taking over Marcy and becoming like... Marcy becoming like the physical amalgamation of the amalgamation of like amphibia's greatest minds which is apparently uh king andreas's master it seems so we have our i guess ultimate villain which is marcy <laughs> that's terrifying so hopefully they'll be able to somehow save her because otherwise we're kind of fucked so yeah <laughs> Let's jump in to episode eight. I wanted to say seven, but episode eight of Amphibia season three in three, two, one, and play. Yeah, my girl. Oh, he got an updated opening. Holy crap. God, and the shot of her in the background now. Oh, my God. Okay, Hollywood Hot Pop. Oh, we're going to Hollywood, maybe? Oh, yeah, because he loves acting, so he would love Hollywood. Welcome to Hollywood. Impressive, right, HP? Why, it's almost as if your world actually respects actors. <laughs> respects them? Huh. Around here, people worship actors as gods. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. If only that were me. I know my acting career didn't really pan out, but maybe I'd have a shot in this world. Possibly, but Mr. X is after us and he's seen you, so we need to keep a low profile. He has already gone. gone. Yep, what? of course. Hollywood, here I come! <laughs> it sounded like he said you know Hollywood. I do not have the energy for this. I respect that, just saying fuck it. Get sore else. Damn, poor guy. I'm so sorry. I 
don't worry about it. it. Happens a lot at these old fogey auditions. I recognize that voice. Auditions? Are you all actors? Guilty as charged. Still waiting for my big break, though. Whose voice is that? Nice to meet you. You and Humphrey Westwood, huh? Oh, it's only my singular passion. I'm Hoppadia Planner. Say, I thought I knew all the senior male actors around here. You from out of town? Yep, way out of town. Nice. What, like Sacramento? <laughs> hey, are you Humphrey Westwood? Sacramento's cool. Me? No. Why do we look alike? <gasps> Papadaya, you should audition. Go ahead, take my spot in line. Oh no, no, I couldn't. Nonsense. Uh, this town could be harsh on newcomers. That's so bothering me. I Hollywood from me to you. Well, I know this guy's this. voice so well, and I have no idea Whoa. where. All right, I'll set the scene for you. You got this elbow cream, right? You put it on. You feel like brand new. You're so surprised. You say, "Oh, wow, great." No, not feeling it. Such a shame, too, because everything else about you is literally perfect. Say what? There it is. There it is. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Everyone, we've got a new catchphrase. I really... It's, I've heard her a few times before. You know, it's yep. so funny. Thing. I'd be very curious what? to know... I don't, it probably, wow, she made the Pollywood nice joke. And it looks like he didn't even cause any trouble. Hop up. Whoa, sorry. You look just like someone I know. All right, this guy got the part. Everyone else can go home. What the? All right. Way to go, HP. Are you kidding? Nice. Hey, congratulations, Hoppadaya. Humphrey, wait, I just realized I took your spot. Heck, I might have just stolen your opportunity. Ah, fish posh. It was one in a mill either way. I'm just happy it went to a nice guy. Plus, I already waited 45 years for a break. What's a few more? Jesus. Bro's literally years. gonna die tomorrow. I know the feeling, Humphrey. <sighs> I still don't think this is a good idea, but as long as it's for something small that no one sees, maybe it'll be harmless. Elbow cream that literally is gonna be on the Do television. Oh my god! When you bend them? Try crack a lack and elbow grease. Hot crack a lack and elbow grease. Whoa. But wait, there's more. Say, Say what? what? Whoa, hop up. You're on TV. How did I get inside the picture box? And why am I saying lines from that play I did yesterday? And these guys. It's not a play. Hop up. That wasn't a play. They were filming you for a commercial. You lost me, Ann. Yeah, oh, this is not an advertisement. Oh, do we live with somebody famous? Oh my do god. Do we be charging rent? No. <laughs> do we be charging rent? That's a good question. <gasps> Mr. X sees one of these. Who? Um, the secret agent yes. who wants to catch us? The bald one. Man, he's a busy federal employee. I'm no. sure he doesn't no. have time for TV. No, that's actually bullshit. <laughs> Just because I'm a federal employee doesn't mean I can't enjoy the odd episode of Judge Julie. Judge Julie. Wow. Dry, uh, Judge Judy reference. Now you don't have to be. Say what? <laughs> and they said I was a fool to not pay for ad-free streaming. Wow. Wow. You probably were a fool, overkill. but Sorry, hey, sometimes but every once in a while a commercial is really good. Holy crud! Whoa. Say what? Awesome! Cool! Terrible! I can't believe all it took was getting trapped in another world to get my big break. But am I deserving? Am I living a dream that should have gone to Humphrey? Am I on a t-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Did that say we accept demo? Whoa, they have mugs too. You have a catchphrase? This would actually be pretty neat if it weren't so fucked. Yes. Hello. Hi, this is Mitch Harbor calling for Hopadia Planter. Wait, Mitch Harbor? The Mitch Harbor, director of Fumigator One, Two, and Four. Yep. Now could I please speak? What to happened to Fumigator Three? Hopadia Planter, it's me. I'm Hopadia. Not anyone else. Only me. HP, I love HP. your work. I want you to audition for a role in my latest film. Say what? Yeah, I was gonna say people are gonna find him. People are gonna find him. Wow. 
meets you at 10 a.m. at your office in the studio water tower? Just show up and I get the part? Hop, hop, don't even think about it. <gasps> I'm sorry, Ann, this is too big to pass on. God oh, no, fucking hop, damn it. Get back here. Hey, don't push, man. And there's Mr. X. Jenny, he's headed for the studio lot. Meet me with reinforcements. We got him for real this time. I need the goat. Show He's me Jenny, Mr. X the actual second best character in the series. Classic grappling hook. <laughs> Got him. Actually having to run away. Oh no! Hop up! Yeah. Who the heck are you people? No questions, Earth Man! Damn. Oh my frog! Ah! Yeah, that was worthy of an oh my frog. We're literally cart racing around the studio set. Oh my god. Alright, cue the pyrotechnics. Hey, this is actually pretty realistic. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, movies aren't as far off from... Yeah, a lot of movies are not that far off from what actually happens. You know, sometimes you need a lot of special effects, but... Wait, wait. Suspicion Island's not real? Yay. Don't be so gullible, dude. Wow. Get fucked, bro. Ah! Professor Manor! Lord Frankerton! Wow. And Lady Franklin! Wow. What do y'all think you're doing? This here's a closed set! Wait, your accent isn't real? Who's gullible now, Anne? Hey, got him! Yeah, you'd be surprised. So many actors can do great accents. That's like one of the that's a classic actor talent, really. A lot of actors' most famous roles are playing characters that aren't even their, um... This is it, have totally After different today, accents than them. the biggest frog actor who ever lived! No. Oh, I'm so sorry I didn't see you there. Humphrey? Looks like you found out my day job, Hoppadiah. Where are you off to? Oh, me? I, uh, have an audition up there. With Mitch? Bravo, my friend! Bravo! Golly, what a break. But you look I'm a lot so like him. For you. Even if I never make it, it's enough to know an old fart like me did. Nice. Oh, there's a there. little tiny thing Mitch flying around for, for fuck's sake. Little tiny gnat. <sighs> no, Humphrey. He's waiting for you. Huh? What are you talking about? It's only because of your kindness that I even had this chance. And it's high time I return the favor. All right, Mr. Planter. After hearing you read those pages, I'm gonna have to say you got the dang part. Nice. There he is. Get him. <laughs> ah, there's Jenny. Oh, no, we got hot pop. You kids sure about that? <laughs> Wait. Then who did they catch? <laughs> Thought you could escape me, huh? Got him. Wait, it's, it's not a false nose, but... I don't believe this. You dare treat Hollywood's newest star this way? You'll be hearing from my robust team of lawyers after this. No, it can't be! Not again! Not again! I stand down. Mr. X was wrong again. Again, you are fucked. You're so lucky you have Jenny. Jenny, so... I'm gonna need some ice cream, girl. I'm gonna need some ice cream, girl. I don't get it. You abandoned the audition? I didn't abandon it. Jenny's so hot. I'm sorry. What the as long fuck? As I, have. I don't know if it's the glasses or the hair. It's probably all of it, but it's just perfect. I've already had a taste of the spotlight, kids. It's time for this old frog to stop pining after what he doesn't have and start seriously protecting the things he does. Yeah, especially since shit's probably gonna get fucked up at the end of this series, which is like 10 episodes from now. The real power is behind the camera. Wait, you don't need- You wanna be a director? From now on, I wanna be a director. Of course. <laughs> that was a good ending, that was, that was nice. Okay, 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 okay. We're gonna give a frog a cookie. That actually felt kinda long. That felt like, that kind of, Almost, I don't know why, but that kind of honestly felt like a double-length episode. That I don't I don't know. 
it's weird. I mean, it's been a little while since I've watched Amphibia, obviously, because I'm just kind of getting back in the swing of everything, you know, back to being a consistent YouTuber after having to go on. Well, the first of my three trips was planned and everything went fine, but then having two trips that uh, just were just super la pretty last minute and super sussy and just whatever. I haven't, you know, but whatever. We're back now and everything, so it's fine, but... um. It has been a while since I watched Amphibia, but for whatever reason, that episode felt fairly long. Then again, the thing I recorded right before this was Kuyomi Monogatari, which also are like half-length episodes. Um, so maybe that has to do with why it felt it, it felt longer than it was, because it's a similar length to the episodes I was just watching prior to this. Um, but uh, yeah, that was really good. So I, I really enjoyed that episode. Um, you know, obviously, nice continuity. It makes a lot of sense, given that Anne's from L.A., that you would do a Hollywood Hot Pop episode, literally called that. But doing an episode where, you know, you kind of uh, further extend on the whole acting thing with Hot Pop and do it through the medium of Hollywood, again, especially since Anne's from L.A., so it's, I mean, it's right there. You know, you, Hollywood's around, so it only makes sense to do a situation where you have an, or you have Hot Pop experience Hollywood in some form or another. So I think, I feel like that's like one of the things you can check off the bucket list of stuff to do with the planters in Los Angeles. Um, so that, 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 that seems like a very logical thing to do. And I'm glad they did it. It was a very fun episode. And, um, any episode where I get to see Jenny is a dub. Um, not as much as getting to see Sasha, of course, but Jenny is the goats, the other goats, uh, so dub. Um, and yeah, it was a really good episode. Obviously, the involvement of Mr. X was fun, and uh, we got some good stuff in it. We definitely had a fun time, and of course, Hot Pop being like a good fucking person is always great to see, because Hot Pop also is one of my favorite characters, as I've emphasized, is probably... My favorite non-human character in the series is probably between Hot Pop and Grime for my favorite non-human character in, in um, Amphibia. I am really liking Andreas. The more we get of Andreas, like I, he's a really he's a really cool villain. So I do really like Andreas. He's probably third on that list behind. It's probably Grime one, Hot Pop two, but it's very close between Grime and Hot Pop for the best non-human character because obviously Sasha is the best character, of course. That goes without saying, and if you disagree, you're wrong. Also, Marcy's goaded, and I really love Anne, too. So, you know, honestly, all of the the, the main three girls are all fantastic in this show. But, um, yeah, that was a really fun episode of Amphibia. I really enjoyed it, thought it was a lot of fun, and I'm definitely curious to see what If You Give a Frog a Cookie is about. Obviously, we're going to give one or possibly all the frogs a cookie, and... Apparently, we're going to get 11 minutes of um, entertainment out of it. So, let's see what you got, guys. Show uh, show me what you got. All right. Uh, Amphibia, episode 8B of season 3. If you give a frog a cookie, we'll commence in 3, 2, 1, and play. Todd? Joe, let's get it. Question, why are the planters flooding our lawn? Sorry, that's on me. They've been really homesick lately, and I thought a swamp might cheer them up. They don't look very cheery. <sighs> they were for a bit, but then they weren't. So now I'm making them cookies. They answer to all of life's problems. True. And you can't keep giving them things just because you feel bad. They need to learn how to cope on their own. Maybe That's you'll... fair. I'll go talk to them. Hmm, how did you get them so crunchy? Oh, that's the cicadas. Thanks, Mom. Cicadas! Do I smell cookies? <laughs> oh my god, Anne's guys, influence. I know you're homesick, Anne's but I amphibian influence. <sighs> Anne's right, kids. This was nice, but let's clean this up and get back to the village. Sorry, the what now? Why, our miniature recreation of Wartwood, of course. Oh my god. May I have this dance? Oh, that's Sylvia? terrifying. Uh, <laughs> the house. Okay, this can't be healthy. Yeah, that's like really terrifying. 
Oh, Jan. Hey, Jan, tell me you've got good news. Great news, actually. I've got a lead. One of my colleagues knows a string theory expert who works in the area. Uh. In other words, we found someone who might be your ticket back to Amphibia. Wow. Yeah, string theory is. I wouldn't just yet. There are a lot of loose cannons in the scientific community, and I'd like to vet this Dr. Frakes before we meet her. Okay, let me know when you're ready, Dr. Jan. Is that Dr. Jan? Sounded like she had news! A lot of news! Sorry, guys. No good news to report. Yeah. All right, kids. Back to the tiny village. Just kidding! Oh, Dr. Jan my God. might know how to get us back to Amphibia. Holy cow! Oh, you think you'll get us so back home in the weekend? For? Let's meet this wizard! Well, we can't go right now. Dr. Jan says... God damn it. That... God damn it, Anne! Anne, Anne you're better than this! Head on over. I know you feel guilty, but... Oh, right. This is fine. It's a good idea. No, Maybe it's not. Another, right, Big Wally? You should have just given a frog a you should have just given a frog a literal cookie and not a metaphorical cookie and according to the internet our that, this is a clever here. This is really someone who works on Springer theory runs this place. I guess this is how you fund it. That actually makes sense. So this is where they keep all the dark earth magic. Is that supposed to be Looking like a shitty That's Rick and Morty, uh, Rick well, Sanchez over questions. there. Now stay close. The government's still on our tail. True. <sighs> I keep telling you kids we don't have extra snacks back here. Oh, hello. Our oh! see Dr. Frakes. Sadie! Yeah, Sadie! I recognize that voice. Meh. Is she available? Only by appointment. Sorry. That's definitely Sadie's VA. Yeah, we tried. Wait! Actually, we are reporters, and we were just wondering if you could answer some questions about interdimensional travel. Aren't you a bit young to be a reporter? <gasps> Silence, Terry! Ah! Yes, the media has caught wind of my amazing discovery! Oh, what kind of discovery? Oh, nothing big, just a portal to another dimension! Nice. Did you say portal? Now God. Come with me. Terry! Music! <sighs> Poor Terry. Dr. Fricks, super Fricks mega cool may be stuck running the collection 2003 mix. After hordes of snot-nosed brats, but that doesn't mean my research Damn. has stopped. Damn, you really are on your Behold, Frankenstein Frakes shit. What the fuck? Fruit. Over here is an example of a Frakes fractal. Look over here, my Frakes field. Wow, Everything named so after you. named after you. Well, science is the pursuit of naming things after yourself. Huh. I thought it was the pursuit of knowledge. Dummy, mm, dummy, same Terry. thing. Poor Terry. Voila, the Freak's portal chamber. Whoa. I love Terry's design, Before by the way. That blue hair looks few great. months ago, when the city was hit with a wave of very strange energy. Oh my God! Well, we never saw that part of it. Whoa! No way. Since then, we've been able to repeat the anomaly several times. But no matter how many times I do it, no one believes me. Everyone says that my images are faked. Hard to get a good picture with all that magnetic distortion. <gasps> they recognize those locations. Yet, today, I will prove otherwise. Now, who's ready to see me burst through space-time? Doctor, this process is still very unstable and dangerous. Should we really involve civilians? This is actually so far going way better than expected. Well, let the press decide. I think one of those pictures is Amphibia. I'm almost somewhat certain about it. I'm not so sure, guys. The images look pretty fuzzy. And besides, we just came to ask questions. Okay, but can we at least look through it? Please, Anne? We'd be able to see home again. No, we have no idea what will happen. It's too dangerous. Oh, fine. Just a peek. But then God you're not allowed to be the rest of your lives. Got it? Yeah! yeah. <laughs> oh, All right, you Dr. assholes. Let's see that, that, that might as well, that might as well have been about, this. Baby. That, that, that fucking... <laughs> <laughs> so what's gonna happen here? There's a lot of possibilities. Not, that looks like a Rick and Morty world. What the fuck? Jesus. <laughs> oh, 
Unfortunately, I can only hold the portal open for about five seconds before it collapses, and I... Uh, were you three always giant talking frogs? Ah, oh, shit. <gasps> um, so, I can explain. We're frog people from another dimension! We just want to go home! I knew they weren't reporters! Wow. Hmm. Ow. I see. Oh, yeah, she's about to take you as... Jerry. Schedule. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can see the headlines now. Freaks, frogs, change the world. Freaks, frogs. Most famous scientist in history. As soon as I dissect you and catalog your organs. Jesus Christ. Family. Don't try to stop me, Terry. I'm not. Freaks may be an unparalleled genius, but that doesn't mean she can just kidnap people. We have oh, to stop. Frogs. Oh. Well, that's a nice turn. New friend, yeah, let's go! Yeah. I mean, come on. They anyone, anyone, stairs. anyone with Sadie's VA is going to gonna be a cool people. Hey, interesting, you guys have a dissection, dissection live. I... My granola bar from lunch! Just throw it. Just throw it. Oh. I'll be fine. Are you sure you'll be fine? Aw, oh, there's actually a girl that's not being assessed. Jesus Christ. This isn't the first time that frogs have almost been dissected in this show, but first time in this, uh, you can't world. Stop me, Anne. When I'm done, everyone will know my name. You're crazy, Dr. Fink. It's Franks. Whatever. Franks, yes. Yeah. Wow. Dang it. Anne! Snacks. Here, take my key card. Don't you dare, Terry. One email from me and you'll never work in any scientific field ever again. Do you really want to risk your entire career for these creatures? <sighs> yep. <laughs> yep. I was like, fuck you. Damn. No! no! I love how stupidly overdramatic this is. Let's go! Terry? Terry? Stop it, Terry! Ah! Yeah, Terry's like, fuck it. I, I'm, 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 I, I want to follow. Jesus Christ. The baby penguin. So yeah, you're gonna look like a fluffy and precious. I was waiting for her to do that. Yeah, yeah, of what course. What do we do, Anne? She's after us and madder than a hornet. I have an idea. Terry, take the planters and go. Here's a physics lesson for you, Anne. I'm bigger than you, and I have momentum. You can't stop me. Ah, uh, that's not true. Lesson for you too. Cookies really are the answer to all of life's problems. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, what happens when you give a frog a cookie? What happens when you give a fucking kid a cookie? Cicada cookies. Thanks, job, Ann. Any cookies left? Well, you got a good friend out of it. Wow, oh, of course she has a car like that. I'm doing like my that. best to get us back to Amphibia, okay? And I get how much you miss it, but you gotta stop guilting me. I can't resist. Sorry, Ann. <laughs> you should have known better. The planners always did have powerful guilting skills. Yes, yeah. yes, you got the you eyes of death. The lady her job and nearly yep. got dissected. I think you all actually did me a favor. Briggs was brilliant, but also a huge jerk. This yeah. whole thing reminded me that science is for helping others, True. not just helping yourself. And I think the portal we'll build together will be more than enough to get me a grant. Ah. Uh, you mean? <gasps> yep. I'm yeah. Yeah. I help think. You get these goobers home. Stupid bug. Yeah! Thanks, Terry. You're good people. Hey, Terry. Can I drive your car? Oh, we. That's a no. Aw, Just look at that face. No. Well, okay. No. Yeah. Yeah. That was a bad idea. Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, um, we're dead. End of the show. I hope you guys enjoyed Amphibia. <laughs> Um, it was a good show. Ended very tragically when uh, Terry let Sprig drive her car. And, uh, yeah, I mean... Oh, wait, there's more episodes? Wait, Sasha's the main character now because Anne's dead? Let's go! Dude, we're gonna have that Sasha versus Marcy finale. It's gonna be insane. We're gonna grind fucking one-shotting Andrea. Shit's gonna be lit as fuck. What the fuck? Too bad Anne's not there, though. And the planters. No, but seriously, that was uh, that was episode eight of Amphibia season three, and it was really fun. That was uh, that was eight B, I guess. Actually, that was um, 
if you give a frog a cookie. And uh, that was actually a really well-named episode. I really actually think that was one of the best titles of the series. And, like, the plays into how she made cookies for them. And then, but, like, the cookie was a metaphor, but it also had a literal meaning as well. But it was meant to be a representation. So that honestly was... I think one of the most clever titles Amphibious had, maybe the single most clever title in the entire series. So, shouts to Amphibia for being fun. Um, that was a really fun episode. Uh, we learned that um, we learned that uh, our girl Anne makes cicada cookies, which is. I mean, I guess if you want some crunchy cookies, that um, cicadas will in fact give you a crunch. Um, Jesus Christ, Anne, you need to get that under control and remember that, uh, most humans don't eat bugs on the norm. And I say most because not all, but most, um, certain, she might be, uh, appreciate certain cuisines now a little more though, I guess, suppose. But, uh, yeah, that was crazy. That was a, uh, really fun episode. We met a new friend, Terry, who is, um, a cute girl who is a scientist and researcher herself and um, is voiced by the same VA. I think I've heard her in other things too, but she, she voiced Sadie in St Steven Universe. That's what my mind initially jumped to. I feel like I've heard her in other things before, to be completely honest, but I know for a fact that she was Sadie in SU, so that's what I called out uh, when I heard her voice. But I do think I've heard her in other things as well. Uh, she has a pretty distinct voice, a pretty easy voice to recognize, and, um, yeah, I mean, she always plays, like, characters that are, like, cool and pretty cute, usually, so, that tracks. Um, that was a good episode, that was a good episode, and, um, it's interesting because we don't have that many episodes left, obviously, so, it, all things considered, we're probably gonna get back to Amphibia relatively soon, given that you know, we only have so many episodes of the series left, and obviously we're going to get back at some point, and that'll be interesting to see how that goes, so I guess we will, um, you know, cross that bridge when we get there, but um, another thing I really appreciate in episode 8 was the fact that we got Marcy in the OP as, like, the, the, the core Marcy um, existence. That was really fucking cool, too, so I really liked that, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much everything as far as episode eight is concerned. Definitely two two fun episodes, and I'm um, excited to see what's next. So I suppose it's time we jump into episode nine of Amphibia season three and check out what's next. But uh, I definitely also wanted to mention that uh, this was a really cool episode um, in the sense that we got more scientists. I like that we've actually had a fair amount of like scientist characters that, that have come up over the course of trying to find a way to get um, the planters back to Amphibia. And uh, I'm curious how it's going to go, because I don't, I don't expect the rest of the series. What I'm expecting is the planters and Anne go back to Amphibia, and then the finale of the series happens in Amphibia. I would imagine we would need a new intro, though, so maybe we get two intros. Maybe... Maybe we get an intro for, like, the second half of season three that's just different from the intro in the first half. It has, like, the same uh, story notes, but it's, again, back in Amphibia. I don't know. I, I wouldn't be surprised. I think that would be cool. Uh, but whatever the case may be, I'm looking for a situation where uh, I'm expecting the finale to be on Amphibia. Now, it's interesting. It could go either way because Andreas is trying to, you know, ascend, you know, invade Earth, essentially. So it could happen either way. But I'm expecting they go back to Amphibia and they have the big fight in Amphibia. And that's kind of how I'm expecting the series to end. So I'm expecting them to get back at some point before the end of the before the finale. And then possibly in this video, maybe in the next video. But either in this video or the next video to get back to Amphibia. And then have the like big climax of the series in Amphibia. And then through whatever events that happens, then Anne and company will have to make the ultimate decision... All three of them, in the end, will actually kind of individually have to make the decision of where they 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 want to live, and that's the other thing I love about Amphibia and the Owl House 
is they're both setting up that end game decision of what world do you want you know in the end do you want to in the case of amphibia do you want to spend your days in amphibia you know on amphibia in amphibia or on earth like what world do you choose and that's something that marcy sasha and Anne are each going to have to individually choose and i think it would be really cool if hypothetically two of them pick one world and one picks the other I think that would be so cool. I mean, it would obviously be really sad and emotional, and I probably will get emotional no matter what happens because there's no answer that isn't sad in some form because no matter what happens, people are going to lose each other. Because uh, I fully, ex you know, because the planters, they're going to stay in Amphibia, of course. That you can pretty much lock in. It's just a matter of everyone else. Does everyone else, does where does Sasha go? Where does Marcy go? Where does Anne go? Because I think all three of them there's a good chance they're going to go back to Earth. I think that's like the... I think that's... If if all three of them go in one place, I expect them to all go back to Earth. But I don't know. And I like the idea that we have this building decision that could honestly go either way. And no matter what decision is made, it will be sad. And that's cool. I like that. And I don't think Disney's going to run away from that inevitable ending so i'm very excited to see what matt decides to do with that so that's something for the future though next up is episode nine of amphibia season three so let's jump right into it Alrighty, let's jump into season three episode nine a or nine of amphibia in three two one and oh 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 holiday episode Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Holiday. Uh, Christmas in LA means it's just as hot. It, 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 not just as hot, but yeah, you're not getting any snow in LA. <laughs> maybe if you go up to like the San Gabriel Mountains or maybe the high desert, but you're not getting any snow in LA proper. I love how it's the same intro. They just put the holiday festive lights around the rim. Do, 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 do. This make all oh, and then the color of the hair color is it was it's Christmassy. Nice, nice. I like the little touches. Froggy little Christmas. Well, I don't think I need to predict anything. Adam, Janava, that's a lot of people on the storyboard. That's a lot of people directing. Jan Rocks and Kyler. Let's get it. Aw. Hey, Domino! That's funny looking. That's really funny looking. Wow. It's time for the time for the wow of Frog Angel. Time for them to learn about Christmas. And what's happening? Are we under attack? Are these fortifications, booby traps, weapons? Dude, calm down. It's just Christmas. It's what? Oh shoot! I never explained this. Yeah. Christmas yeah, you don't know. Jesus Christ holidays. is not a thing in and amphibia. Us toys go big. Ah, a holiday. Neato. So what's it about? <gasps> Yeah, that was gonna take a while to explain, actually. Happy holidays from the Bun Chui. Yes, this is she. <gasps> really? It's the downtown LA Christmas Palooza Parade. There was a last minute opening. <gasps> <gasps> the what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's the annual holiday parade. Local businesses and schools and sports teams all make floats. It's always been my mom's dream to have one for the restaurant. The heck is a float? Every answer brings more and more questions. I know, right? Nothing makes sense. Sleepy the year? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, yes, I just can't yes, believe it. Yes, yes, but yes, I'm yes, gonna have to yes. say no. Mom, why'd you say no? Honey, as much as I would love a Thai go float, and I love Christmas more than anything. It would draw way too much attention. She's to right. Us. Yeah, but I mean, three frog from another dimension parading in front of all of LA, even in disguises, that's hardly keeping a low profile. That's true. true. Especially not with that evil king coming after you. <laughs> You're just Aww, happy you're they're doing to spend this a holiday with us. The that's sacrifice enough for me. Aww. But this is your dream. Yeah, well, we can still do all the normal traditions. Carols, cookies, decorating the tree, gifts. The family Christmas card. Oh, that reminds me. I picked the theme for this year's card. Candid. It's gonna be groundbreaking. Candid, huh? huh. How would well, you do a candid Christmas card? 
<laughs> what the fuck? What the heck? Yes, See, thank you. We can still have a great holiday without a float in the parade. <laughs> Get fucked. Right. I'm gonna need to be quick on the draw if I want to capture us. Oh my goodness! Okay, next time, no flash. Right, yeah, that so, might be for the best, uh, especially with frogs. Something else to do. Okay, bye. Hi. Yes, this is Anne Boontoy. You just called about a parade float for Tygo. Well, we'd like to change that no to a yes. Great, thanks, bye. Whoa. Wow. Twist. Just, just, just going yeah. back behind her mother. Did you see my mom? Yep. She was clearly devastated yep. and trying to hide it. I don't I think she... A subtle I mean, melancholy. yes, my yes, a subtle melancholy is a good way to put it. Me. Well, no more. This year, I'm gonna give oh them the God. greatest present ever. I hope this the works out. Great float of their dreams. Are you with me? Let's yeah, do. sounds good to me. What's a float? Before we go, could you explain this holiday to me? No time. We only have a few days, so let's motor, people. Yeah. Yeah, I'll explain the holiday for you afterwards when we're in Amphibia because shit's gonna fucking go down right away. Whoa, 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 whoa. I was making jokes. King Andreas, the robot army is nearly complete. What the fuck? Ahead of schedule and under budget. Excellent, Triple B. Does he know he's familiar but with Christmas or? <laughs> Pretty cute, right? It's late winter, which means it's almost time for the human holiday, Christmas. Ah, they're Marcy familiar. Told us about it, remember? Ah. It's fun. We even got you a Christmas gift. Stay right there. Ah. What the fuck? It's heavy. <laughs> I was not prepared to see Andreas in this fucking episode of all things. Okay, stairs. Oh, is that for me? <laughs> <sighs> wow! What is it exactly? Oh, this is it's our a drone. drone soldier yep. prototype, sir. If you sign off, we can start mass producing them tomorrow. Goody! Oh, and look at this nifty <laughs> crown. Nice. Let's see what this baby can do. That's really cool. I love how it's like a fucking video game controller. It's kind of tricky. <laughs> What's this for? Oh no. Oh god! Oh, now this I like. Glad to hear it, sire. It just needs a little testing and it'll be oh, good to go. Testing, eh? I just had a grand idea. Oh no. I can send this drone to Earth and destroy and virtually. I never should have sent a robot to do a newt's job. But Damn. technically you're still sending a robot Shut to the Shut the fuck up. up. Get yes. Ready, Anne. Once I figure out how to control this thing, you are finished. Yeah, I'm just gonna practice first. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what an asshole! For such tiny legs, you'd be sure move fast. <laughs> well, that was a nice update. I wonder if that's gonna be in this episode or it's gonna be in the B episode, but that's definitely I'm gonna sure be relevant. You feel it coming. There's something on the free. It might be slightly snowing for seventy degrees. Regardless, you sound familiar. The holidays are here, and with them come the tidings of the special time of year. So, what's the plan, Anne? That was How cute. This boat? Float. And don't worry, I've got a great idea for this bad boy. Ooh! The first thing cool. we need is some technical help. Anyone know any tech experts? Do I? Ah, the IT gals. What were their names? Um, Jess and Allie? Ally? I think it was Allie and Jess. Thank you so much for helping me with this float. No problem. We'll do anything electronic, animatronic, technotronic, really any tronic. Thanks, yep. you two. You're absolute lifesavers. Hey, don't mention it. Now go grab some eggnog and enjoy the party. So, come here often. <gasps> Cookie! This That's kind of disgusting. Any more sense to you, kids? No nope, less, actually. 
Come on, let's just ask. Shark! 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 Excuse me, could you explain Christmas to us? Y'all never heard of Christmas? Uh, no. It's a holiday. You celebrate, get a tree, decorate. You make cookies, party hard. Get a tree? Cookies? I'm still confused. Just be careful when you're tying lights to the tree. If you get the voltage wrong... Nothing ruins Christmas like a tree on fire. Blaming tree. <laughs> Got it. That's oh, good advice. Good that. advice. Oh, Blaming trees are bad. A gift for the person who means the most to you. It better be good, too. A bad gift can pretty much spoil the whole thing. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so what you're saying is, I have to get in the perfect gift or I'll ruin Christmas. <laughs> yes. This is one of those stressful holidays, isn't it? It depends All on your... Techie secure. It, it can be. Decorations to populate the float. And I think I know... Luckily, I, I don't know people. So. I, I, like, barely am... Outside of, like, online, I barely know anyone, so... Dude, it's actually kind of sad because most of my friends could get any crazy. are like not around anymore. They're like, interested in learning the history of mistletoe? It's a not so dark. Not where right. betrayals and bloodshed originating in the early 13th century. Doctor Jan, you're Just amazing. Just in time for a festive lecture. Jan and Ann. Strapping. Hey, Doctor Jan. Actually, I'm building my parents a parade float, and I need all the help I can get. Decorations, props. Ooh, I love the Christmas Palooza parade. You could use some mannequins and wintry flora from our dioramas. Take your pick. Thanks, Dr. Jan. My mom is gonna love this. <clears throat> Dr. Jan, you're an educator. We need a clear answer here. What in the flying frog is Christmas? Yes, what in the flying fuck is Christmas history? about? My time has come. <laughs> She's more like it. What the fuck, Anne? This bone structure is perfect for Santa! It's it actually kind of could work for Santa. Solstice and the burning of a Yule log in the 4th century. Okay, 4 centuries. Well, hello, Rudolph. But many of our modern traditions what come from fuck? the ancient Roman feast of Saturnalia. Of course, there's also the Dutch center clause. So many options. Woolly mammoths are wintry. Nah, it never fit. But maybe... Others would argue it has Jesus Christ, more there's literally going to be nothing major left. Soda conglomerates. Major, major soda conglomerates, of all things. Yeah, Coca-Cola Coca does have great Christmas commercials. Period of feasting and gift giving with family and friends. If I knew we were getting a Christmas episode, maybe I would have had a Coke. I'm a dino dentist! Dino dentist, let's go. Please excuse me. I think I'm starting to get it. It sounds like Swamp Hollow's Eve, but without the ritual sacrifices. I still think it's all about giving presents. Whatever I get in has to be really good. Perfect even. Or else. Okay, guys. Ready for our next stop? What the fuck did you do? What? I think I spoke too soon about the ritual sacrifices. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! A bucket of fried chicken. That girl's got to be someone. A bucket of fried chicken. That's a Japanese Christmas reference. Because it's traditional to get KFC. That's a fucking weird fucking thing that from the 80s, I believe. That's a thing to this day. KFC for Christmas in Japan. There's no way that's Mars. I was about to say Marcy, but I have to specify. There's no way that's Marceline's voice actress, right? Hello. That girl sounds so familiar. Oh, that singer. Are people down there? No. Where is that Anne Boomchild? Wait. What? Bird attack. Bug gun. Man, I've got to get better at these controls. Zapparada. Huh? Jesus. All right, December 22nd, a few days away. Thanks for your help, everyone. I love how I'm watching this literally in the middle of summer. Nope. Garbage. It's all garbage. Damn, poor guy. Right. Jesus. Yeah, I gotta make Sam flat art. Oh. oh my god, the fucking cicada, the fucking, cr I think those were crickets, but. Yeah. Jesus 
Christ. Ew. Christmas Eve. We did it! Woo! Thanks, guys. Mom and Dad are gonna love it. This is gonna be the best Christmas ever. We can fix that. Yeah, you gotta fix Rudolph. Okay, so I really wanted to do something special for you guys since you've done so much for me. And well, open your eyes. <gasps> <laughs> Wow, that actually looks great. Jesus Christ! Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> but what about keeping a low profile? Wow. Oh, oh, uh, line. How? Oh. Are you sure? Doesn't sound right. Ho, ho, ho. See, no one suspect anything. I wasn't gonna let you give up on your dream because of me. You wanted this for so long Aww. that you deserve it. I love how Anne's hair Thank is so just much. like her mother's. Merry Christmas, Mom. <laughs> Mrs. Boonjoy. You actually got a good. God damn it. Gosh dang it. I will get the. That was literally the picture, oh, too. That was the moment. I'm sorry, Santa. Wow. Dude, fucking Rudolph is just is trying to end it all and leave forever. And introducing newcomers, Ty Go. Oh, oh. Um, line. Ugh, you gotta be kidding me. You're an actor! Woo! Mom? What's wrong? If it's not perfect, I'll fix it. No, no. It's just really nice to be part of the community like this. Ever since your oh. father and I came here from Bangkok, it's been a challenge. Really from Bangkok. I mean, that makes I sense. I always thought Thailand, making it into this parade first. would mean we had finally done it. Wow. I never knew you and Dad felt that way. And after months in Wartwood, I know what it's like feeling out of place. Aww. Oh, I shit. can't wait to squash this stupid world. At this rate, it'll take a miracle to find Anne. Oh no, here we go. <laughs> I'm Anne Boonjoy! I'm Anne Boonjoy! <laughs> She's Anne Boonjoy! Nice, well, Anne. That was easy. Yeah, oh, yeah. that was I a staples button holiday. moment. Glowing trees, nut smashes, red suited jolly man with a beard. Oh, that gives me an idea. No! Let's get festive with red, <laughs> red suited jolly man with a beard. I, I for a second I thought Andrews was gonna magically just pop up. Cause he's got a nice white beard. What the fuck? Oh no. Notification complete. Equipped for battle and ready to rock. <laughs> well, <laughs> ready to rock. Merry Christmas to me. You were right, Anne. I shouldn't have been so worried about everything. I can't believe I almost missed out on this. I love Christmas so much! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be so candid. Oh, 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 hello! And Boon Joy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Well, that's definitely ruined. That voice! It can't be! King Andreas? Santa? King Andreas is Santa? <laughs> this holiday Blunders. just keeps getting weirder. I know, right? What the fuck? Evil Santa confirmed. Jesus! Not Ted! Wow, this is a big step up from last year. We gotta get out of here now! What about giant? <laughs> Oh yeah, they're just missing presents. Like, Jesus Christ. Andreas, you dog! <laughs> I mean, ho, ho, ho. Nice, nice. Andreas is better at this than fucking that. Hot Pop. Uh, really? Now you're unbreakable? Oh uh, yeah, that's a good point. No, that's not jolly. What the fuck? Oh, we're trapped. We're all out of everything! Looks like this is the end of the road, Anne. Literally. 
And you've been a very bad girl this year. What do we have left to throw? Something, anything! The tree! We gotta light it on fire? Finally! Wow. <laughs> what the hey, fuck? Andreas! Merry Christmas! Hey, thanks, you too! <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> Jesus. That's a Christmas Eve celebration I've ever seen. Okay. <laughs> no, Timmy. I don't think so. <laughs> no, Timmy, I don't think so. Santa got fucked. <laughs> I don't believe this. Look. It's, it's snowing. Kind of. No, Ash. It's Ash. Ah, Ew. that makes more sense. Ew. Fucking Ash. Dang it. It's the stupid controller's fault. I was so close to Jesus Christ. Bro literally just pulled a Kylo <laughs> Red. What the fuck? That was pathetic. Holy fuck. Can you call yourself a king? It doesn't matter. Against the full force Marcy. of Marcy. None shall stand. Not Anne. Jesus Christ! Not anyone. That's a big army. Oh, this was a double! Holy well, crap, this was a double! I was gonna say this one felt long, but I thought that was the other one. What's wrong? Are you okay? <laughs> that was so dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a murderous Santa robot. Never thought I'd see that. Yeah, Scary that's a new one. Stuff. It was the combo of jolly and murderous that really made it feel yes, special. Yes, murderously jolly. Mom? Sorry my gift almost got us killed. And stop. Your heart was in the right place. And that's what Christmas is all about. Both of your hearts it? were. Thanks, Mom. I am so confused. Can someone finally explain what this holiday actually means? I guess it's about spending time with the people you love. And all the presents and traditions are just a way to express that love. But at the end of the day, all that matters is that you're together. Like your father. He's still happy, even though he didn't get his perfect photo. Oh, didn't I? What? When? How? Candid, baby. He's too good. Oh. Yo. So it's not about the gifts at all? Nope. Phew, because I try to get you the perfect present, but it's not that good. I'd much rather spend time together instead of- Gimme, give gimme, give gimme! <laughs> no, really, it's dumb. Aww, it's, it's like her, his you know, little dolls. You're my hero. Thanks, dude. Wow. Okay, even I think that's sweet. Now let's yeah, that was go pretty inside good. and eat cookies. Aww. Well, I guess that's the end of Christmas. I'll probably never understand it, but you know what? I liked it. Nice. And there's the girl. Whose voice is that? with you if you believe it's special then that's what makes it special maybe this is marceline's it's mom special. it's a special it's a special it's special I'm i can't imagine spending the holidays without your family I know how hard it is to be apart and not know if you'll ever see each other again. So I'm writing to let you know that your daughter is alive. Marcy or Sasha. World, but I promise, I'm going to bring her back Sasha. home safe. Signed, a friend. To both, yeah, for both. Aww. I can see why this was not a bad cut point, though. It was a dramatic and cool special. Wow. What an awesome episode. What a great set. Episode 10's gotta be insane. Because that would have been a strong endpoint. But if 10 is crazy, then... Yeah, 10's gotta be crazy. I, I was not... Yeah, that I was not expecting the double length. I mean, Christmas special, getting the extra times good and... Yeah, that was a fantastic episode, honestly. One of my favorite episodes, probably, of uh, Amphibia. I thought that was really beautiful. I think Christmas specials are interesting. Um, I think they... It's interesting because I think Christmas is 
thematically a great holiday for shows. Thanksgiving has a very similar kind of vibe, but I feel like for whatever reason, Christmas goes over better. I think it's so universal. It's something that really, no matter what age you are, you know, like it's, it, 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 unlike, you know, of course, Thanksgiving also is an American holiday. So there's that, whereas Christmas is very universal. You either celebrate it or you don't, but you know about Christmas. It's, it's something that's, it's familiar to most people on the planet. So it has more of a universal appeal. And I think Christmas episodes in, in, in shows like we'll, we'll stick to animation and you know like cartoons and stuff Christmas specials for whatever reason tend to work and I think largely that has to do with the fact that the theme is always is almost always the same but it's something that's so universal and relatable as well and a lot of Christmas episodes in these shows uh, follow a similar format and they work in a very specific way, but that's, again, part of the beauty of it. And you're able to tell nuance in different ways. And obviously, like, this Christmas episode was really cool because it played into the plot. Like, we had plot progression in this episode on top of being a Christmas special, which is something that I think was very cool, especially since they decided to give this episode a full 22 minutes and not just a segment, which kind of makes sense because it's a, it's a release. It's like, this is the Christmas release. We might as well go all in. And I like that they were able to incorporate King Andreas as an antagonist into the episode. We even got that really cool moment with Marcy there. We got a little tease of her holding her, um, her, like, uh, her 20 sided die and, uh, just being a badass. I, I'm so terrified and excited for Marcy in, in when we get we finally get like this like um you know antagonist Marcy persona. I don't whatever you want to call her. Um I, I'm sure the fandom has like a name for this version of Marcy, but um yeah, it's just I, I can't wait to see what we get from that. That should be fantastic. And I'm super excited for the next episode as well as of course the remaining episodes of the show because it's just been an absolute blast and I've had so much fun with this series I think this has probably been I mean it's gonna go down very high on my list I think of cartoons um it's it's a very good show I'm kind of waiting you know I don't really want to reveal too much of my hand of of, of how high it might end up on that list until I actually get to the end of the show and I think the finale is going to have a large part to do with my overall opinion on Amphibia. Because if the finale is really good, um, that's definitely going to help it. And if the finale kind of falls flat, it's going to hurt it. So, like, the finale has a huge role to play in my overall opinions. Because no matter what happens at this point, I love this show. It's a very, very good show. But, you know, how far I want to go with my thoughts on it will largely depend on the finale. But we still have some episodes before we even get to the end of the series. Um, and this was a great one. I don't know if this was the best episode of season three, but this was easily one of the best episodes of season three. One of the better episodes of Amphibia. I really love that Christmas special. I think that was one of the best holiday special episodes I've seen from a cartoon in a while. I really, really liked it. Like I said, I think the holiday specials kind of always work, but they rarely, I think, over-deliver. I feel like this one over-delivered. So shout-outs to the Amphibia crew for that. I'm so freaking curious who that girl is that was singing in, in this in this episode. So I might look that up in between episodes 9 and 10. But um, whatever the case may be, that was a great episode of Amphibia. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. But we still have one more episode to check out, which I have a feeling is going to be a double length as well. Because 9 was the actual cutoff, but 10 was the... I guess what meant to be the like mid season finale of sorts. So I'm expecting huge plot stuff, potentially on Amphibia, potentially on Earth, but I'm expecting huge plot stuff. I don't know if this is the episode that they make it back to Amphibia. I don't know if it's too soon or not, but the big, big shit's going to happen. And, um, that's so cool that, that she sent letters to, to, um, Marcy and Sasha's families. The, the 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 woos and the waybrights that that was really fucking cool I, I really love that um so yeah that's pretty much all I got to say so uh, let's jump into episode ten of Amphibia season three all right let's jump into season three episode ten of Amphibia the 
from my understanding, what was supposed to be the mid-season finale, but it ended up kind of being episode nine for whatever reason. Doesn't really matter to me because I'm watching this after the fact, but whatever the case may be, season three, episode ten of Amphibia in three, two, one. Play. And it's a double length. We have our confirmation. The last double length was a special case where they did a escape to Amphibia. Okay, well that... That, Gloria, Michelle, Joe, Jim, let's get it. That's crazy title. And we're doing the thing with Mr. X and Jenny. Or at least Mr. Okay. X. Oh! This is getting hard to no. X. What do you know about these amphibious extraterrestrials? Who can say? Maybe a lot, maybe nothing. Don't be oh, look coy, at Jenny. Sorry, Koi is my default setting. Why is Jenny I want so these hot? taken into custody today. What do you need to get the job done? Nothing much. Tricked out fans, thermal tracking equipment, a mobile HQ with cutting edge power systems, kombucha on tap. Kombucha on tap? Don't push it, X. Just neutralize the threat. Yes, sir. This is it, Jenners. Living the dream. Jenners. <laughs> Why? Ooh, gotta love is this she avocado the roast. It's avocado toast, toast dude. Toast. In Amphibia, the avocados are covered with poison barbs that cause blindness. But here, they're just creamy and delicious. How's nice. the portal going, Terry? Pretty good. Come over here. When you told me about the Calamity Box, I wondered, why a music box? Then it hit me. The musical notes function as coordinates. There are oh. countless worlds in the multiverse, oh. infinite possibilities. And those ancient newts discovered a way to pinpoint worlds with music. Ooh. Also, it was Rebecca yeah, Sugar who was singing. Of course, it was Does Rebecca Sugar. Remember a song Ironically, Sadie pops up and then the, the, in the godmother <laughs> of Steven Universe shows up. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> Is it gonna? Oh my god! It's gonna be. It's gonna be the opening. It's gonna be the freaking opening, isn't it? Fingers crossed, everyone. It's gonna be the opening. Car battery, by the way. It's working. That's as big as I can make it. Do you see anything? That looks like amphibia. Oh, gross. Yay! That's home, all right. Wonder if the mantis can smell us. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Spring! Ah! Ow. That's your world? Home sweet home. Nice job, Terry. Thanks. I need way more power to make the portal bigger, but we're on the right track. I don't believe it. Wow. We're so close to getting back to Amphibia. Next stop, defeat Andreas and save my friends. Wow, Anne, you are one impressive kid. You Aww. know that? Really? Traveling to another world, leaving your parents behind again, not knowing when you're <laughs> That's brave. Holy hmm. shit, Jan. I hadn't really thought about that until now. I would not believe it if I hadn't just seen it. That was incredible. Yikes. All right, everyone, listen up. Dr. Janet and I think we can get the portal bigger, but here's a list of supplies I think we're gonna need. 50,000 kilowatts of power generators, 400 cubic meters of ice, eight gallons of yogurt-covered pretzels. The portal needs yogurt-covered pretzels? I do. Yes. <laughs> the only place oh, I, know this I love her. Spenco! Spandwa! So, Costco. Spenco! Costco. Yep, yep, that's definitely Costco. I do love Costco. Costco is goaded. They got avocados here. They've got everything here. Oh shit. Ah, the heat signatures. That's actually really clever. Shopping spree! Which way do the avocados? Toys, toys, where are the toys? Woo! No hopping! Sorry! Toys and avocados. <laughs> We meet again. What the fuck? Enjoy. We're doing Star Wars. The only way to save your father is to defeat me. <sighs> you got the colors yeah, wrong, but I'm sure. Too old for this. Oh, really? <laughs> got him. <laughs> she has a lot of swordplay experience. Hey, now we know we're good. On your old man. Whoa, sorry. <laughs> 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 I was your mother the whole time. <laughs> you are the worst. <laughs> What the fuck? You can't play with those. All Everybody the fucking Star Wars reference. Light blade. 
I'm surprised they're called light blades and it's and it's like wow and it's like a pseudo it's a pseudo Star Wars thing. That's just the way it goes. Because yeah, they love them some Star Wars. But that's the thing, like I'm surprised they didn't just say lightsabers and have actual like Darth Vader because it's because they literally had Star Wars earlier in season three. Uh are you okay? what? Oh yeah, it, it didn't hit me. But are you okay in here? No. <sighs> Not really. I've been so focused on opening the portal and getting back to Amphibia, I haven't thought about what I'll be leaving on this side. My parents. I get it. They're pretty great. <laughs> what if we wait a couple days? You can spend more time with your parents. I'm sure Amphibia can wait a little while longer. Ugh, I don't I know. suppose that could be a good idea. I don't know. That might be the difference between like the point of note too. Holy guacamole, nice. Pop, pop. What is all this stuff? Oh my god, he's taking it to. He's taking it to a video. There's avocado everything. Yeah, well, he, he, they are in LA. Los Angeles. Wow, upgrade. RC um, Probo. You like Probo's new treads? We stop by the RC car aisle. What's with the DVDs? Oh, Nothing much. Just my favorite. Die difficultly film. Bryce Wallace is an action movie genius. I don't think this so movie Bruce is Bruce Willis. Bryce anyway, Wallace. See you nerds later. Yeah, definitely not. Check out. Mr. Boom Choy has like eight credit cards. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. Hey, have you guys seen my wallet? Oh no. All right, that's the last of it. See, I told you it would all fit. Right, guys? Snug as a bug, Mr. Boon Choi. That's more on me! I can take it. I knew there was nice. a reason I married you. Wow. And get fucked by the FBI or right before. <laughs> yeah. Looks like we've caught you at last, my little froggies. <laughs> my little froggies. What frogs? <laughs> Damn. Hmm. Could you guys run? Wow. Oh, oh shit! Oh. No! Man. Oh no! Yes, girl. Ah. I love how to see who. So we finally have a name. I gotta say, how did you not figure out her, her name? Also, Jenny wins the now. day as Pack always. Up, boys. What about the girl and her parents? Leave them. There's nothing they can do now. Oh, that was the mistake. That was the mistake. Guys, no! Shit. Go after them. I know. Damn. Nice, nice, nice fucking pocket knife, bro. We're too hard to drive like this. This is nothing. Try driving through Bangkok during rush hour. We're losing them. Yeah, Thailand's pretty. Yeah, Bangkok. I know is supposed to be pretty legendary for insanity. What the fuck? Nice, nice. That was the rat. That was the rat from Endgame, by the way. Must be the HQ. Time to scope things out. Might as well make all the references to the 80 million things Disney owns. Looks pretty secure. Well, what now? Uh, I think this is more than the three of us can handle. It's time to call for backup. Call for backup. Who the fuck? Jeez, we thespians love the spotlight, but can you turn this thing down? Who do you work for? No one. I've been working for myself since I took over the farm. The farm? Is that what you call your nefarious alien headquarters? <laughs> I what? No. Say, do you guys have any avocado toast? Well. All right, Pinky. I want to know everything. Start from the beginning. I was born on a humid, swampy evening. Just a tiny, cute tad. The beginning, you asked dreams. for it. <sighs> What's your master plan? Stop to eliminate my enemies and take over the world! Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Tell me more. Sheesh, we're gonna be here a while. Okay, so there's Duckweed, Bug, Gary, Tritonio, Barry, Gunther, Lucy, Nelly, Clifford, Lacey. Why Hunter. is this a song? Okay, new tactic. What is this thing? Some kind of bomb? Oh, he's the bomb, all right. Ain't you, probes? Enough! Let's see how talkative you are once we run some tests. What the fuck? Oh, you're going on my list for sure. Nice. 
And now the planters are being held by the FBI in a secret government compound. Wait, 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 back up. The planters are alien creatures from another world? Yeah, that basically. Was a hey! That checks out. Yeah. What the? Oh, shit! Yes. Oh, we shit. Need your help to I save love that joke this was a serious business. Die. If we get caught, we'll be in huge trouble with the feds. So if anyone wants out, no hard feelings. Not even one person. Wow. Now, with death, to the end. Wow, so His dramatic. voice is so familiar and I didn't look it up. Yes, you are an actor. Right, here's the plan. Step one, get into the compound by bringing them something they want. Wow. You found another frog alien. Uh, ID. Got it here somewhere. Uh, next, secure entry into the compound. Nice. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. This is actually a pretty good job so far. Wow. This is actually really wow. I actually am pretty impressed with this plan. Nice work. And now we find the plan. The getaway is the problem. Yeah. yeah, it's a really stupid idea to cheer. Wait, Terry, check it out. That could power the portal all on its own. Oh Should man, it? it is oh, called an escape to amphibia. Amphibia, after all, they might—they gotta get their, they gotta get the portal. This must be where the planters are. Yeah, three specimens, you would think. Hop -hop? What the fuck? Uh oh. What the? <laughs> you baited! That was it smart. Stings, doesn't it? Damn, you just got arrested. Actually, worse than arrested, honestly. What have you done with the planters? Give them back! <laughs> the planters, eh? Sorry, honey, but they're government property now. Nice. We can't do this! We have rights! I can do whatever I want. I'm a highly specialized top federal agent. And you? <laughs> You're nothing but a child. Heck, you wouldn't have even gotten this far without your mommy and daddy. Oh! But, uh, I... Face it, kid. It's time to stop playing hero before it gets you all in serious trouble. Oh, wait. You are already in serious <laughs> trouble. What the fuck, Mr. X? What the Whoa, fuck? Today is a good day. Today is a good day. This is a good episode. Is she about to go, like, full, like, magic? Don't I don't know how else they get out of it. Yeah, he's just a well-dressed blowhard. But nice. he's right. I am just a kid. How am I supposed to save my friends? <laughs> Beat the FBI, defeat King Andreas, if I can't even bring myself to say goodbye to my parents. All this time I thought I could do these things, but I was wrong. Wow. Don't be silly, Ed. If anyone can do this, it's you. How do you know? Are you kidding? Just look at what you already done. Yeah. Survived for months in another world. Made friends and fought for people who couldn't fight for themselves. Yeah. Tell me that amazing Christmas float. You became a you be killer robot. You became the protagonist of your own story. You have grown we all so are. Much. You're not my but little yeah. girl anymore, Anne. You can do this. And no matter where you go, you're or what you're brilliant doing, young woman will be with you now, Anne. Right here. I'm pointing to your heart in case you didn't get it. Yes, I got it. I got it, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I wish my parents believed in me like that. Damn. <laughs> What's happening? Generator! Generator! What the fuck? Holy cow! Terry and Jan stole the camp's generator! The entire compound is shut down, which means glitch in the power locks. Let's go! Wow, wow, of course they're of course they're power locks. Hold it right there. I may have been touched by your story, but I'm still gonna stop you. I'm still an FBI agent. Catch. Oh my god, lightsaber? You bought that. What? It was on sale. Oh, that works! Yo! You guys wait here. I'll be right back. Uh, there. yeah, fake lightsaber. I apparently oh, she still hurts. Kill anyone. <laughs> hey, who's that? I wasn't ready. Oh my god, the lighting! What these freaking? That kid escaped. Get her. Yeah, we're going really Star Wars up in here. Oh my god, the music. Oh my god, the music. What is this music? 
If this is, why does it sound like an actual remix from so, of a Star Wars OST? Wow. Uh, it says pull, dude. All right, coast is clear. Now let's go save some frogs. Holy shit, that was funny. It kind of reminded me of the Rogue One scene. For anyone who's seen Rogue One, probably a lot of you. I'll go restart the generator. Don't let Rogue them One, out right? Of sight. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is our chance to escape. Obviously, not that badass, of course. Don't hurt yourself, Sprague. What up, fam? Damn! I'm here to rescue you guys. Hey, who are you? You can't be in here. Ah! Wow, wow. Damn. Ian, That's a hard disc. You. Are you guys okay? Mostly. My dignity is admittedly in shape. I thought he said so, my dick for a second. Jesus Christ. Wow. Nice. Surprise. Hey, need a ride? Get you. Yeah, and that's gonna get him to Amphibia. Yeah, everyone we met you helped save here. Us? It's like a mini version of Wartwood. All the people that you met all on your journey. You fixed Frobo! Sorta! Good enough. Wow, wow, let's make another hole. Yeah, that does seem fun. Well, that's not good. That's really bad. What the fuck? Shut the gate! Shut the gate! Shut it! They're just gonna drive right through it. Yeah, you idiots! <laughs> Don't know why we thought that would work. Uh, it's go time, people! Let's move! <laughs> The things I want to say about Vinny. Okay, time to ditch these losers. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I think he just murdered some people. What the hell? Way ahead of ya! I can't see! Also, that's super gross! More murder. No, they're fine. They have airbags. No, they're dead. Damn! What a badass. Are we literally about to lightsaber duel this shit? What the fuck? Guys, quick! We need something else to throw! How about Ice? Wow. Oh, you have You were asking for that. You literally asked for it. I'm fine, Jenny. They may have gone uh -huh. away, but not before I tag them! <laughs> God damn it. God fucking damn it. She's honestly not that bad. Jenny's the goat. Mr. X, he's pretty good too. I don't believe it. But that first day, that's the goat shit. The other generators. We've got one shot at this. Here, for your trip. Guys, this is amazing. We have had your care package prepared for a while, waiting for this very moment. Aww. We are so proud of you. Now go finish this thing. And Hell yeah. Home. Let's finish this motherfucker. Let's get back to <laughs> Thanks, Amphibia. Mr. And Mrs. B for everything. We'll miss you. Yeah, she's we'll definitely going back to Amphibia. I don't know about Sasha and Marcy, but Anne, I mean, Everyone Anne's ready? definitely going back. Everything? We're ready. I'm set. I've got one avocado left to seed my avocado dynasty. Oh my right. god. Here we go. You're gonna seed your avocado dynasty, huh? That looks big enough. <gasps> oh no. It doesn't look any bigger. We still can't fit through. Guys, what can we do? All those generators weren't enough. That was twice the power we estimated it would need. If that didn't work, I'm afraid nothing will. <gasps> and there's the FBI. Oh, Shit. Again. Ooh, these things are good. Yeah. And there's the goat. And now Mr. X is gonna make their dramatic introduction. Not bad, and not bad. Wow, golf Turned clap. Turned out you were more capable than I thought. 
but you still fail because no matter what you do, you're still just a kid. Is she about to go blue? Oh! You're right, X. I am just a kid. But today reminded me that with the right people yes! on my side. Yes, she's gonna go blue. Anything? What the? Ah! And that's gonna give them the power. What are you? And look, I don't portal. know. Yeah, that's just overrided it. Yep. Yeah, what is this power? Yes, I would like to. It with some kind of human battery. Yep. What is that place? And whoa, is that a giant praying mantis? Yes. Men, seize them. This is it. You gotta go. You gotta go now. Papa, give me your avocado. Oh come on, dude. No. Aww. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you're smart, girl, take out the seed. Take out the seed. No, you should have took out the seed. Uh, in the end, that's what Hot Pop really wanted. What is that? A giant bug? Bugs don't eat people, right? <laughs> Bugs don't eat people, right? Me too. And that makes sense. She, she went through. She had the power. They are going to be able to capture this and study it, though. Interesting. Oh, shit. Uh, you! I hope you're ready to explain yourselves. And we hope you're ready to listen. We've got a lot to talk about. Oh, Goody. <laughs> yeah, she wasn't excited for that. Here we are. Here we are, back in Amphibia. <gasps> Jesus. We made it. Oh God! I believe it. This is so. Guys. Hey. Oh what's God. Going on? Oh God. Not good. What happened here? King Andreas happened here. End of the episode. Yes. <laughs> oh, we gotta have another opening. That's crazy. I imagine the final opening. Wow, that was it. We spent ten episodes on Earth. That was the Earth arc, I guess you could say, of Amphibia. And now we enter the final arc. Because, I mean, I mean, it wasn't... I mean, obviously, this is all considered part three, but I kind of actually, in a way, that felt like that was kind of the end of part three, and now we kind of enter part four. Um, because that felt like... I mean, that really was. That was the end of the Earth arc, and now we enter the Return to Amphibia arc, the, the finale arc, the final chapter of Amphibia. We have... Actually, we technically only have eight episodes left. No, I know some of them are really long or whatever, so whatever. I, 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 There might even be one that's like, I know there's long episodes in there. I don't know exactly the specifics. I'll find out when I load them up, but we have eight episodes left. I think we have three sets. I could be wrong, but if I am not mistaken, and I'll have to double check because I actually don't have anything written in my notes beyond the next set, I think think we're doing 11 to 14, 15 and 16, 17 and 18. That might not be correct, but I believe that's what we're doing. I'm not entirely sure. I'll have to check, but um, I believe it sounds right that we have three videos left of Amphibia, which is absolutely insane. I imagine they're going to be action packed. They're going to be crazy. Shit's going to fucking go down. Um, I imagine we're going to get a reunion of Sasha and Anne, and then Sasha's going to actually be, like, there for the remainder of the show as, like, a main character. And then, you know, I mean, the confrontation with Andreas and 
what the fuck is Marcy's role going to be in all of this? That's a massive question. I mean, that's the thing, right? Like, uh, Sasha and Anne don't even know that Marcy's still alive. So there's that on top of everything else. They honestly, like, they probably, you know, I mean, Anne believes in her heart, I think, that Marcy, you know, she, she's got to believe. But she doesn't know. And I think it'll be a big moment when they find out that Marcy is, in fact, alive. That's going to really, like, help them so much emotionally. But, of course, they're going to find out that while she is alive, she's in a sticky situation, to say the least. And that's going to be super fucking interesting. And I can't wait to see where that goes. Holy shit, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that was an amazing set. I think that was honestly one of my favorite sets of the series the Christmas episode was phenomenal. The uh, Escape to Amphibia was great. That was such a good episode. And uh, episode 8 was great too. I enjoyed the uh, the Hollywood episode and I'm already forgetting what 8B was. Um, I actually have totally forgotten what 8B was. Because that was the episode where... That would have been the episode where we met... Um, we met the, the, the girl voiced by Sadie. Um... You know, it's so funny. I, going back to the Christmas episode and the girl, the singer that was voiced by Rebecca Sugar, it makes sense because she started doing the thing where she said it near the end of the song. Because I imagine she wrote the song too. And she started doing the thing where she said like the same word like four times in a row. And that's a very like Rebecca Sugar thing in songs. If you've ever noticed, she likes to repeat a word or a certain you know, collection of words over and over. You know, again, I always think of It's Over, Isn't It? Which, of course, is one of the best Steven Universe songs, if not the best Steven Universe song. Um, and she does repeat, like, variations of It's Over, Isn't It? quite a bit. I mean, she doesn't perform it, but, you know, it's her show, her song. You get what I'm saying. Um, but obviously, Rebecca Sugar is probably... Uh, most known for just being tremendous at writing music. Um, you know, that was shown in, in, in the, um, the earlier seasons of Adventure Time. It was shown in Steven Universe. Uh, and I imagine she wrote that song. That's really cool. I recognized her voice, but like, I don't think I would have pulled that guess. But I think in my head, I thought of Rebecca Sugar at, near the end when they said the same line over and over a bunch of times. I was like, that's probably like, that's a Rebecca Sugar thing to do in a song, like writing wise. And it would make sense that if they had Rebecca Sugar perform the song, she would also write it because it's Rebecca Sugar. And if you're bringing her in for a song, you might as well have her write it too. But that's actually really cool. That's really cool because obviously um, that's so cool that they got her for that. That's awesome. Um, and this show has definitely you know, surpassed Steven Universe for me at, at, the, at the very least. I feel pretty confident to say that. But obviously I have very fond memories of Steven Universe, even if that show... Had its ups and downs, you know, I'll always appreciate it. And obviously, um, Rebecca Sugar had a lasting impact on the animation industry between her work on, you know, Adventure Time and, of course, Steven Universe. Um, so, you know, and she's, who knows what she'll do in the future. But she, Steven Universe was a very important show, uh, regardless of how you feel about it. It, it did a lot for um, Western animation and um, animation in general. And it, and it was a really cool show. Um but very cool to see her make a cameo. And the, the, but going to episode 10, which I'm kind of putting off a little bit, that was not an emotional high on the level of necessarily the season two finale of Amphibia, or maybe not even the season one finale of Amphibia, because both of the season finales just had incredibly dramatic, saucy moments with, um, you know, Sasha and Anne in season one, and then, of course, just the, the everything in the season two finale, to be completely honest. But... This episode obviously had a great emotion, emotional moments between with Anne and her parents, and it just had some great moments that really made it feel not necessarily like a season finale, but it felt like just a, it felt in its own ways like a really great episode that really kind of spoke to me in a lot of ways, and I feel it felt like when she got back to Amphibia with the planters, and they're looking, and Amphibia's just fucked up because Andreas is fucking everyone shit up. It just felt like that was the you're in the end game now moment. 
You know, like we the, the second we got back to Amphibia, it felt like the end game. We have eight episodes left. That obviously we are in the end game, and I expect I'm maybe my expectations are a little too high, but I expect every episode to be great at this point. Like I, things are serious. We don't have much time left. Obviously, the reunion between Sasha and Anne is coming, and how that dynamic comes to play in the coming episodes is going to be so interesting. I am so curious how they're going to portray that dynamic moving forward, given everything that Sasha and Anne have been through, um, just in general and with each other specifically. That is going to be so interesting to see the reunion once more between Sasha Waybright and Anne Boon Choi. That's... That is so fucking hype. And, and that's probably going to be... There's a good chance that's going to be in episode 11. I'm absolutely getting it in the next set, but I might even get it in the next episode. So I am absolutely ecstatic to see the Sasha and reunion once more and how that's going to go down. And just the interactions between the two, is, I think, in the remainder of the series is going to be absolutely incredible and is something I am fucking stoked for. This was an awesome episode of Amphibia. Great stuff. This set was awesome. I really have nothing nothing negative to say about it. I mean, I you know, I love this show, so it makes sense, but that set was awesome. And I'm very curious to see what the remainder of season 3 has in store because now we're going to get into the uh, the climax of the series. We're in Amphibia now. We have to confront Andreas and Marcy and shit's going to fucking go down. It's going to be crazy. I mean, we still have not had the, like, like, you know, Anne has gone full, like, Super Saiyan and stuff, but there's still Sasha, obviously, also should have that capability because the three girls are, and we still don't know what this means, but the three girls are, you know, connected by the, the box, the Calamity box, and every, it's all a thing, so they all have, like, this destiny, these magic powers, whatever it is, and I hope we get a you know, more satisfying explanation. I'm, I'm a little curious as to what they're going to actually do with that, but I, I just can't wait. It's, it's crazy. It's been a, it's been a, you know, not the longest journey in the world, but it's been a journey for sure. And we are reaching the end of that journey and I'm savoring every episode. I'm sure you guys are enjoying my reactions because like I said, there's only a couple more left to Amphibia and I'm sure they're going to get even crazier as we near closer to the end of this series. Obviously, this series ended not that long ago, a couple of months ago. So um, it's still pretty fresh. Uh, but it worked out really well where I didn't have to ever, you know, I never caught up to the series, you know, for various reasons. So it worked out in the end for me where it's no different than if I was watching a show from 2000 or 2010 or something. But because uh, I've always, I never caught up to the show. I always had more episodes to watch at every point uh, but uh it's still pretty recent for you guys so i'm sure you'll uh, a lot of you will be really um interested and excited to kind of rewatch these final episodes that didn't come out all that long ago because we're now into the stuff that was coming out months ago when i was reacting to amphibia these like this last batch of episodes was coming out so i'm sure you guys it's still pretty fresh in your minds and i'm sure a lot of you are really excited to relive it maybe you're dreading it a little depending on what happens i i oh god i you know i'm expecting a mostly happy ending with a bittersweet kind of um moment of going back to you know earth in all likelihood and and having to leave behind the planters and that's going to be really sad but other than that i'm expecting a very happy ending but i'm a little scared because the season two finale really really fucking played with us so like the fact that they were able to do that but of course you know it seems like there was a lot of like barely able to do that anyway so i'm gonna assume the best but try to be prepared for the worst, I suppose, when it comes to the end of the series. But whatever they do, I'm sure it's going to be great. And I'm super fucking excited. And we're not quite at the end of the series just yet. We still have a little more time left. But it's clear that shit's, shit's gotten really fucking real in Amphibia. And um, these next episodes probably aren't going to be very fun. They're going to be a bit more um, fucking crazy and serious. So whatever the case may be... Um, 
That's uh, going to do it for our reactions to episodes 8 to 10 of Amphibia Season 3. One of my favorite sets of the show. And <sighs> next time we're going to find out what the fuck's going on. I mean, we know that, you know, Andreas is fucking shit up and I'm getting ready to fuck even more shit up. But I'm curious to see uh, a little more specifics and see, you know, what's come of Sasha and like Wartwood and just, you know, what's come of everything really. So that's going to be really fun. But anyways... If you guys want to support the channel, my Patreon's down below in the description. You can check out my Discord server as well. Flamin' Shark, signing out. I hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day. And I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.